Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday. It is the day before New Year's Eve, and I wanted to check in with you because I'm gonna go over some of my um, plans for this next year. Okay, so uh, first thing to do on the list you will see later today is actually a hair color change because I'm going from this lighter color to more of a brunette. <laughs> I'm gonna try that and see how it works. If it doesn't look so great, then I can always go back. But, um, but I thought I would try it. I found something called a root beer brunette and it's kind of like a, like a dark that goes into like reddish brown toward the bottom half or something. And it looked really interesting. Um, so I wanna see how that looks. And I talked to my hairstylist about that and she's gonna get me in today and she is going to tell me what she thinks. And I, let's see if I chicken out or not. I think I'm gonna try to go through with it. Okay, so we, let me get my notes and we will talk about what the battle plan is for 2021. I am back. Okay, I'm in the gym because the kids haven't woke up yet and this is private and quiet. Not the best light though, so I'm kind of dark in here. Um, but anyway, I'm, I'm just going to do my best. Okay, so I want to go over my plan with you for 2021. If it sounds like I'm being a little bossy or didactic, I'm not. I wrote these things for me. Um, and so I'm sharing those with you in case you it gives you any sort of spark of creativity and making your own goals or you can glean something from it. Um, so, and then that way, you know, my plan of action. Number one um, is self-evaluation and assessment. And so I had to look back at 2020 and ask myself, how did you do overall on your health journey? And did you make the impact um, on your own journey that you wanted to? Number two, plan to move on after the evaluation and assessment sometimes it's hard to, you know it's time for hard truths when you evaluate how you've been doing and sometimes it's kind of like rough to go oh i really stumbled at this i failed at that and you look at all these things that you could have done better even though there's a lot of things that you should also say, I did really great at these things. Um, I did great at the um, different challenges that I put on myself. I did a low carb challenge. I did a, I think it was the carbohydrate addicts challenge. I did starch solution challenge. I did a, a lot of challenges and I, um, and I think I did rather well at those, but there are some things I didn't do so well at. And I see those too. So I, after I've assessed, now I have a plan to move on and give myself mental amnesia about my failings and say, okay, now we'll just learn from those and don't dwell on those anymore. Move forward. Number three, I want to anticipate. What am I gonna be doing next? Um, what do you want to look forward to, Kat? And what would you like to accomplish? I really spent some time on this and I use the SMART method to, um, to plan out a goal. And the SMART method is basically be specific about your goal, um, S, and then M, make sure that it's measurable. And A is achievable, it needs to be achievable. R, it needs to be relevant or realistic. And T, it needs to be timely. So I can't, I mean, honestly, it wouldn't be realistic for me to say, I'm going to be an Olympic swim champion by the end of the year. Although every time I go swimming, I need to hold my nose. It's not going to happen. That's not realistic. It's not timely. I mean, it's not, you know what I mean? So, I mean, I have to have realistic goals. And then the last one here is action. I need to know what actions will I be taking to accomplish my goals this year? All right, so how did I take this SMART method and and write down my goals. All right, this is kind of how I did it. Number one, align your goals with your values. And that is, if it doesn't reflect your beliefs or character, then you'll have difficulty in achieving it, right? Um, so that's pretty self-explanatory. Basically what I just went over, being relevant and, you know, being, um, timely, being realistic with who you are and the things that you would like to do. 
Um, number two, share your goals with three to five key people and find positive people that won't sabotage your success. That's one, one thing I had asked myself was if my closest, the closest person in the world to me is not one of my three to five key people who are helping me to achieve this success and I really don't have a lot of other people in person that I can depend on that way, I really need to then recruit him into being one of those three to five key people. And if I can't, then I need to um, focus on finding key people to help, you know, help me do this. Um, and I'm very, very happy and blessed that he's more than willing to do that. And I'm also willing to be one of those key people for him. All right, next one, number three, assemble everything you need before you need it. This is really, really important. We know this being on Weight Watchers, that um, A, prep work is vital. Find out what is needed before you go forward. B, your progress can be derailed if you skip uh, the first one. <laughs> prep work, prep work, prep work. And, you know, on that note, I have, now there's going to be a lot of excuses out there. And I, again, I'm speaking to myself to make sure that I don't fall into this trap. But at the same time, I wanted to share with you my experience with other people has been when I work outside the home or whether I work inside the home, I've heard the same excuse. Oh, well, you can prep work like that or you can eat that way because you work and so it's easy for you to do that, but I'm home, so I can't do that. And then when I'm home, they'll say, well, it's easy for you to do that, what you're doing because you're home, but I work all day. So there's always gonna be that excuse. And I think either way, you still are going to have to prep and you need to prep in a way that it really works for you. Last year, I would prep in a way that was kind of like um, a general prep, like I'd make a bunch of rice, a bunch of sweet potatoes, a bunch of something for the week, and then plan to have it. But then um, when it came time to put those potatoes into meals, my husband wouldn't do it, and then I wouldn't do it. I started saying, you know what, I. I don't like the way sweet potatoes look in a Ziploc bag or a container because they kind of leak fluid and it looks unappetizing. All right, so then nobody ate them and I threw them away, right? But if I had prepped them in a way where I cut up the amount of sweet potato, the amount of everything that I wanted to in preset containers, yeah, all my husband would have to do would be grab that, take it to work, myself, eh, also included. Now, I think I made the mistake of thinking that in order to use those containers, I had to have really bland and boring meals. If you watch Planning Us Healthy with Christy, you will see that that is not true. She makes absolutely fabulous meals and she plans ahead. Um, so number four, minimize potential challenges. Um, and that is create measurable actions with all the steps. Okay, such as meal planning, shopping lists, this is what we were just talking about, dates when you're gonna go, which brings me to the next point, incorporate your actions into your actual calendar and your planner and leave yourself wiggle room. Do not forget to leave yourself a margin of time for error um, so that it's not, well, I didn't go shopping on this day, so it's all ruined. Um, then have some other time where you can do that. But that is all part of the plan. So if you don't, and this is something that I spent time doing yesterday. I actually did spend time making a two week menu. And then what I'm gonna do is into the second week, I'm gonna be really paying close attention into what we like and what we don't like. And then I'll make up another two weeks and then I'll use those four weeks to rotate those menus um, for a while until I add some new things in. And when I made that menu up, um, I used this book. This is an older book that I have. I find a lot of older Weight Watchers books. This is the all-time favorites for Weight Watchers. And you can see I've got a lot of little tabs in here and here. And I've already planned out um, all of those meals using this book. And of course, that's not the only book that I'm gonna use this year. I love cookbooks, 
but I needed a real good, stable, creative start. And so then from there, I will have my shopping list and I will have the day that I'm going to prep set aside, my shopping day set aside, um, and I'll have everything that I need and I'll get it done, right? Um, so that those are all the preliminary steps. Those steps cannot be ignored if you're going to have success. Um, and then there's a really important point to remember, and that is regularly uh, evaluate your progress along the way so you can make needed changes along the way. So instead of, um, you know, last year, they would say, make me sweet potatoes, make me sweet potatoes, just, you know, and I'll be okay. Everything will be great if you just make sweet potatoes ahead of time. So I did, and again, no one ate them, right? But if I, again, if I had put those in, you know, containers and got it all set up and I think we would have eaten them or I could have adjusted by instead of sweet potatoes making a rice dish or a pasta dish or something like that that I knew that we would eat. And so it's okay along the way to go, man, nobody likes this. I don't like this. Let me switch to something else that works. There might be some other starch or vegetable that works and be willing to reevaluate along the way and put in things that work. Five, complete at least one action one per day. thing per day on your um, plan to achieve your goal. Propel yourselves toward the goal by doing at least one thing. But now that doesn't mean that you should shoot for one thing. That is the that was at worst. At least you should do one thing a day that you have planned for that day. So if you have, you know, so much, so many ounces of water, so many hours of sleep, so many steps in, you know what I mean? And you're eating right and you've only done one thing, you've slept well. I mean, that's great because that is still propelling you towards your goal, but that is definitely not going to be what you shoot for. <laughs> so there go the dogs. All right. Number six. Establish a support system. Hold right. on. Establish a support system. Who or what can provide you encouragement, advice, healthy feedback, or just a listening ear? Um, and that is going to be number one, my hubby, and then number two, definitely my YouTube community. And um, there are Facebook groups. I mean, there's so many other, you know, Instagram groups and things like that that you can, you know, you can touch base with people on that can help you and be a support to you. Sometimes it's not a person, but it's a what. It's, you know, some other workout um, experience or some other person's life that inspires you. Somebody that you don't even know could be an inspiration for um, what you're doing that helps you set a goal. And so, uh, but I, I think, you know, having this community is gold because of that, because you can have people that, you know, really back you up. But when I said, you know, sometimes you might need just a listening ear, sometimes you just want to complain because it's hard. Sometimes you just want to talk to somebody or sometimes, you know, maybe we're not happy with Weight Watchers for one reason or another or, you know, something's not working and you don't necessarily want it, the problem solved, but you just need to get it out. And that's important too, to be able to have people to do that. And again, I think this community has been really great about being that listening ear when we need that. Um, and then the last one, which is super duper important, is the last point is reward yourself. Um, don't wait until you achieve your goal, especially if it's a long-term goal. Do not wait. You need those little things along the way. You need the reward milestones um, and make sure that you give yourself that. Don't feel guilty about your rewards. Enjoy them. They're there to help you celebrate your efforts in specific in, at specific points and this is important they're there to help you celebrate your efforts at specific points in your journey um, and that doesn't mean it's one long celebration it means you keep to those specific points write down those points and what they're going to be and we kind of went over this and and had to decide at what time those specific points were going to be because I'm going to be um, a big support for my husband nutrition wise and planning. Although he knows it's not all on me, he's going to rely on me heavily to be that influence. Um, but he knows it's not my fault if he does not choose to follow that. And I'm gonna rely on him heavily 
for his workout support, although he knows and I know that it is not his fault if I choose not to do it. It really does still come down to what I'm choosing. So we are going to be that support for each other. Hubby and I sat down and talked about specifics as far as like what my workout goals were going to be. That's like another um, video. Uh, we did work work those things out. Um, as far as nutrition goes, I am going to continue on WW Purple. I'm going to be planning balanced meals, leaning toward whole foods, which I love. And um, some of the meals, actually, we might speckle in some plant-based meals just to lighten it up a little bit. I thought about, you know, the healthy BMI thing, and I did not come up with a specific number for weight because of where I'm at because, you know, I'm 54, I'm on a hormone replacement therapy, I've got a thyroid issue. I mean, I could, all I can do is what I can do. Sorry about the dogs. And um, my goal is to just basically be in a healthy BMI for my person and to be the absolute healthiest I can be um, at the place I'm at. And I don't know what else to say. I'm not going to actually shoot for a specific weight, although I will check periodically to see what that looks like, right? Um, so, oh well, okay, so that's it guys. And I hope that you were able to glean something out from that. Um, I love you a lot. I can't wait to get started in this year with you on this journey and continue it into success. Have a wonderful 2021.